What do I wish I truly understood about Earth in 2050, beyond the constant stream of climate headlines and alarming statistics? It's easy to get lost in the numbers, but what does the future actually look and feel like for the people who will live it? Imagine waking up in a world that's not just warmer, but fundamentally different in ways we're only beginning to grasp. The future's not just hotter, it's completely transformed. Cities will look and function in ways that seem almost unrecognizable today. Skyscrapers covered in living plants, electric vehicles dominating the roads, and renewable energy powering entire neighborhoods will be the new normal. Our daily routines, the way we work, travel, and even relax, will be shaped by the need to adapt to a changing planet. Here's what science says is coming. By 2050, Earth will host nearly 10 billion people, most living through record-breaking heat. Urban areas will swell as more people move to cities seeking opportunity and safety, but these same cities will face unprecedented challenges from extreme weather and resource shortages. We're almost guaranteed to blow past the 1.5 degrees Celsius warming limit in the 2030s, and there's a 50% chance we'll cross 2 degrees Celsius by mid-century. This isn't just a number, it means more frequent heat waves, longer droughts, and storms that are stronger and more unpredictable than ever before. Scientists around the world are racing to understand what these changes mean for our food, water, and health. This means some regions could get more than 3 degrees Celsius hotter, with the hottest years smashing today's records. For millions, daily life will revolve around coping with extreme heat, seeking shade, staying hydrated, and finding ways to keep cool as temperatures soar to new heights. But it's not just temperature. By 2050, up to 40% of land on Earth will shift to a new ecosystem type. Forests may become grasslands, wetlands may dry up, and entire regions could see their landscapes transformed in a single generation. These changes will affect not just wildlife, but the people who depend on these ecosystems for their livelihoods. Tropical dry forests could shrink by 90% while croplands expand. As agriculture pushes into new areas, we'll face tough choices about what to protect and what to let go. The foods we eat, the air we breathe, and the water we drink will all be shaped by these shifts. The world is changing fast, so adapting not just cutting carbon, will be our new survival skill. Communities everywhere will need to innovate, building resilience into homes, cities and food systems. The story of 2050 isn't just about loss. It's about how we respond, adapt and find new ways to thrive on a planet that's transforming before our eyes.